welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am going to be bringing you a very simple, easy, and healthy uh, salmon recipe. It's pineapple salmon. And this is actually dinner for a previous video. <laughs> Did I just say that? A pr my previous video, which is a day in the life and a full day of eating. So rather than putting uh, this salmon recipe on that video and making it uber uber long because I babble so freaking much, I decided to just make the salmon recipe a separate video. So if you guys have watched my previous video, because this one is coming out afterwards, and you're like, that girl has on the same clothes. It's not that I wear the same clothes like every weekend. I do not wear the same clothes every weekend. It's just that, uh, what I just said before, see, I'm not going to repeat it. Normally I would have repeated it, but I'm not going to repeat it. So, it's pineapple salmon. Mind you, I don't like cooked fruit, <laughs> but when I cook it, it is going to have pineapple on it. And I'm just going to pick it off because, you know, it's really for flavor for me. But when you guys make it, you should eat it, especially if you like cooked fruit which I don't. Alrighty, so I'm going to keep this video very short. I just want all my uh, cooking recipe videos to be separate so that, you know, it'll be a nice little playlist and you don't have to like scrounge through my full day of eating just to get to a nice delicious recipe. Let's get started. No more babbling. I swear it's just going to be music and cooking. That's all it's going to be. Oh, oh, one more thing. I am going to put the ingredients and how much you need of each ingredient down in the description box below. That's how that's going to go. Alright, no more babbling. That's it. Let's get started. Boom. Salmon, lemon, or lime juice. This is the low sodium soy sauce, pineapples in the juice, honey, and olive oil. I want to start off with one cup of pineapple juice. I don't know why I did not detach this, but this is a fourth cup of low sodium soy sauce. I have no idea why I did not detach that whatsoever. And then we have one fourth cup of honey. quite nicely. Okay. We are going to do one tablespoon of lemon juice. If you have lime juice, that's fine too. But we're going to do one tablespoon. This is a half tablespoon, so I'm going to do two. Okay. Cold beans. And then we're going to do one tablespoon of olive oil. Um, if you have coconut oil or peanut oil, those will work fine too. So, one, this is, I was about to repeat myself, I swear. Oh, gotta stop doing that. Okay. It's really, really simple, and this recipe is really, really good. So, all we're going to do now is... don't need it zoomed in, of course. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to use a salt-free Mrs. Dash seasoning and some black pepper because the uh, sodium from the soy sauce will be enough sodium. So that's all I'm going to do. Fridge and let them marinate. Basically. 
basically uh, the longer you let them marinate, the better. But any, um, if you're short on time, anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 minutes on up to you know a couple of hours or maybe even the next day if you're not cooking until the next day. So I'm going to stick this in the fridge. And I will be back because we are going to cook them probably uh, in 15 minutes. <laughs> spray with some olive oil spray. Uh, I'm going to place it skin down on the pan and make sure you preheat your oven to 400 degrees. to let it cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. I don't like uh, my salmon to be overcooked and dry, so I'm probably going to take it out at 12 minutes. We'll see. Uh, it just really depends on your oven, but uh, at 400 degrees, 12 minutes should be perfect, no more than 15 minutes. So I will be back with the finished product after these messages. And it's time to take it out. Oh my, that looks so good. Alright, you guys might want to see this. There it is. Let me zoom in on it. Oh my. Okay, zoom out a little bit. There we go. Oh, it looks so yummy. All right, guys, there you have it. Pineapple glazed salmon. It's really, really yummy. It smells so good. I can't wait to dig into it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. For more great recipes like this, don't forget to click that thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.